Hi guys, welcome to video number two. Okay, the first thing that you need to know is the first thing you need to do. And I forgot to put one more material that you're going to need for this if you decide to do this. Duct tape. And like I said, you're also going to need the piece of cloth. So this is what I was telling you guys about, about the piece of cloth. I wanted to make him like a, a genie at the bottom so his body won't be so bad. Now the duct tape is for a reason. I want him to still have his articulation in his hips to at least be able to move up and down when I need him. So I keep that in mind when it comes to this. But yeah, he is ready with that. So the first thing I want to do is before I put the doll into the body of the horse is I need to attach the wire. That's the first thing you're going to need to do. So you're going to have to have attached wire to this. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to pause the video for a few minutes. And this is going to, I'm going to end up putting into my video um, editor in order to get the videos into one. So I'm going to pause this video because, each, like I said, each video is going to last about 1 to 10 seconds or maybe even more. And I'm going to place the wire into the horse. Now, if you want to go ahead and attach the tail at this moment, you can. If the whole of the tail is free, it can be attached. And I'm going to show you what the horse looks like inside. So, yeah. This is what the horse looks like inside. These little support systems are going to be a crucial part of your horse. When you're connecting the wires, yes, that is where you want the wires to go. Now, for the center of the horse to indicate where you want the horse, the doll to sit, these little indicators here is your uh, center point for your horse. For the chest as well as the back. So the doll is going to sit about right about here. Make sure when you put this doll in here that he is 100% straight. So, yes, you do want this to happen like this. So, guys, what I'm going to do is, like I said, when it comes down to it. Now, I'm going to show you a mock-up of what he's going to look like when he gets in here. I'm going to slide him down in here. And, like I said, I keep the cloth so his body will be level. I'm going to sit him. He's going to be sitting just like this. Don't worry about that because I'm, you're going to find out what the t-shirt is for. Because the t-shirt is very critical for this part. Now, like I said, where the horse and the dog are still separate, what you want to do is if you have time, go ahead and place the tail. Okay? Go ahead and place the tail. But since I decided that I don't think I'm going to place it from the inside, I'm placing mine from the outside, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually take the tail and actually make a knot and stick it down in here with hot glue. And then I'm going to hot glue around it. So right now, this tail is going to be not a big issue. I'm going to see if I can do it like that, but I probably won't. But like I said, this is the inside of the horse's head. And like I said, when it came to me, I used a Dremel and a saw knife to get this plastic off. Because, guys, this is not a tough, this is a very tough plastic. If you have a heating gun, you can use a heating gun to widen this little area up right here a little bit more. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to keep the aspects of the horse's muscles. Because, like I said, this is a male horse. Yeah, he's got it. So, yeah. But other than that, this doll will be done today. The main part of the horse will be done today, and the second video will probably go out today as well. And then the other half of the video, I will add to it. But yes. So guys, I'm going to stop this video here, and I'm going to go ahead and set this doll up for, her, for the other part of the remake. So until then, guys, I will see you in the next video. I will be right back with the next video. Love you guys. Hi guys. I am back. So video, the rest of the video of number two video. Like I said, this video will probably be in different sections and like different pieces. But yeah. So as you can see, 
I have this already ready, which is his wire. And it's attached to, like I said, the little attached forms in there. You're going to need them. So, now that that's attached, now it's time to put him down in this horse for his stay. So, basically, what you want to do is, if you wanted to, you can remove much of the, whole, the, the body of the doll. But when it comes to me, I want the doll's body... Like I said, the Lord's legs to be intact. So basically what I'm doing, I'm going to stuff him down in here all the way. Use the indicators to, to know where I want him at. And then what I want to do is before I put the wire around him, I want to go ahead and place the cardboard in him. And like I said, I'm just going to, uh, and before you do this, guys, if you're going to do the tail, make sure you basically put the tail in. Since his tail is going to be hot glued on him, yeah, I'm not going through all that. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is because right now he will move big time in that horse. So basically what you want to do with this is you want to rip out some cardboard. And basically what you want to do is small pieces like this. And you want to start shoving it down in there behind him. So it'll basically be like a, uh, a filler for him. And just shove it in there. And you will see him slowly turn. So this is what I did with my other horse. And you can lay him down like that and just shove it all the way back. Be careful, guys, of this horse, because as you can see, his edges are very sharp. It will cut you as you go to. It will cut you. And I'm trying to keep this guy from knocking against my camera as I stuff his little fillers down in there. Now, you can use other cloth material for this. But basically, like I said, this is literally... Just the fillers to hold this guy in place. To fill out the back and the front of this horse. And I use small pieces of cardboard, just tiny pieces. And like I said, I'm just filling him in back here. I try to ball it up as much as possible. I need to move this piece of wire because it's sticking the heck out of me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It does help to have something. Don't care what it is to protect you from wires and stuff like that. So this is starting to work very well. And set, make sure he's set up straight. Straight, straight. There we go. Like I said, all this will be filled in. Don't worry about that. Um, you can put some in the front now if you want to. And I try to stick it just a little way down. There we go. And as you can see, see? He's in. I'm just stuffing it, <laughs> literally. Now, when you're putting the wire on him, I do have one request. Make sure of one little small thing. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to hit the camera. Make sure that when you put him in, he's standing straight up. And I do mean straight up. Keep him aligned. His hips need to be aligned with these little prongs I showed you guys before. Okay? They need to be aligned. So like I said, I'm doing this by trial and error. And so far, this trial is going good. So I'm pushing it down for him. There we go. And now he's solid in. And now what I want to do is I'm going to take my wire and make sure his arm is out of the way. This is why I work without the head on. 
because the head can get in the way big time. And I want to wrap it around the lower part of his body. This is where you need the gloves most of the time. But like I say, guys, I don't have gloves. I only have my hands. And I'm trying to keep an eye on it on the time as well. Ugh. Come on, baby. I'm stronger than that. There we go. So as you can see, but he still has his movements. And that's what I want. Now, I want to wrap this around double to secure him. Oh, sorry, guys. He's falling off my counter. Oh, boy. Nope. So, next time I do this, put something down here to strengthen it. And I'll change that when I do my next one. So, yes. You want to bring this up again and go around his body a second time. And this is this is literally going to attach him to the horse permanently. And try to get this wire as tight as living possible. Because I don't want any wire showing once the final part of him is put on. Guys. So I'm going to twist, twist, twist in the back. And what I'm going to do with this is then I'm going to try to bend it. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the back back here. And that's what you get. Sorry for the horse booty. <laughs> and I'm going to stick this uh, down in the horse. Because don't worry about this part. It will be all filled in with another filler. But, yep. There you go. Your horse is ready. Now, when you're doing this part of the horse, this is the moment and the time to adjust him to his right position. But other than that, he is ready. This is it. He is in. He is solid. He still has his movements. And that's a good thing. So now that this is done, you can chill out for a few minutes and take a break and come back in with the rest of the thing, the rest of the project that you need. Your wire can be put up because you're done. So guys, what do you say we take a break? I will come back and we will be ready to put the rest of the filler in as well as the t-shirt. And I'm going to show you why you need the t-shirt Finally, like I said, it doesn't take a long time to make this. So again, guys, peace out. Love you. Be right back in the next two videos.